What's going on everyone? My name is Matt. Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about starting a solo cleaning business. And if you're new here, this channel is all about helping you build your cleaning business, grow it, brand it. So if you have a cleaning business, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, give this video a like, and let's get started. So in this video, we're going to be talking about the three things that every cleaner should know before going the solo cleaner business route. Starting with number one, decide whether or not this is really what you want. Now, this is very important because this is going to determine the direction or path that your business is going to be going in. If you're starting off as a solo cleaner and you want to stay a solo cleaner, that's one path you're going to be taking in your business that's going to be very different than someone that is starting off as a solo cleaner and wants to later on down the line hire employees, build out their teams, have a bigger operation. That's a whole different direction in that business. So you need to decide whether or not you really want to be a solo cleaner. And if that is true, your business is going to operate in a different way than a regular cleaning business with employees and different intentions. And real quick, I wanted to add on to this video that I have a Facebook group that I created for all of you guys that have cleaning businesses. Go ahead and join that Facebook group because we're gonna be talking about all these great things to help you grow your business. And I'm gonna be doing lives on there. I'm posting videos. And most importantly, you can ask questions and people can answer you and I'm gonna be there as well, answering questions and helping people, um, giving advice with anything that they, they have, with any issues that they are dealing with in their business. So go ahead, join that Facebook group, and uh, I'll see you there. And there's nothing wrong with being a solo cleaner. There's a market for that, 100%. That's not an issue. It's just you need to make sure that that's the route you wanna go down because how you're gonna be setting up your business is very important to the success of your business. So once you've made that choice, then you can start planning out how you're gonna be growing that business. The second thing you need to know is that there is two different types of clients. There are clients that want a faster, more efficient cleaning with teams. And then there's clients that would actually prefer just one person inside their house that would do the cleaning, doesn't matter how long they're there, get to know you. It's two different worlds. And I've noticed this especially now because of the whole working from home movement. A lot of our clients are moving uh, to, are changing their work from going to the office to working from home. And that means that a lot of them actually want the cleaner to go, the, the cleaning service to be more efficient. They want it to be faster because they have meetings all day. They, they're doing work. Clients I've noticed are looking for a more efficient clean. They want you to go in there. They don't want you to take to uh, forever. They want specific times and things like that. That's for the traditional cleaning business. But if you're running a solo cleaning business, you're going to be looking for clients that are not worried with those factors. In fact, they prefer for someone to be there longer. They prefer for someone to be there by themselves and just doing the cleaning. And you need to know that there are two different markets and your target client is going to be those people that are looking for that solo cleaner to come to their house. And we've run into this as well. We, I've had conversations with people that were looking for cleaners and they've asked, Hey, is it just, you know, one person that comes to my house? And we said, no, we work with teams of two and three and they come out and they'll do the cleaning. And the person's like, oh no, you know what? I prefer someone coming into my house as a solo cleaner, cleaning my house. And, and for them, that's what they're looking for. That's what they're comfortable with. And that, that's why there's a market for that. For us to have a traditional business, we're not looking for that type of client. We're looking for clients that have a busy schedule and they're looking for a team to go in, do the cleaning and get out. So knowing this, it's important that you, if you want to start a solo cleaning business, that you always tell the people that you're marketing to or the audience that you're marketing to, whatever you may be doing to get in the word out there that you're starting your cleaning business or have a cleaning business, you want to let it be known that you are a solo cleaner that you're not going to hire people, that you're not going to have a team of three people coming in, or you're not gonna have a team of two people coming in, that it's just you. 
and you're looking for people that want to hire you to do the cleaning and even if the price is a bit higher than the regular cleanings because you're gonna be there longer, whatever it may be, you wanna make sure that that information's coming off right off the bat so that people understand like, okay, this is a long-term commitment I'm having with this person that's gonna be cleaning my house. Now, usually people that start solo cleaning businesses, they actually prefer to do the cleaning themselves. They are, they like the work that they do. They enjoy cleaning people's homes. Um, they enjoy, getting to know the clients on a very personal level. A lot of times solo cleaners will get to know the homeowner for many, many years. And it just, you become part of the family and that's, you know, an awesome part of being a solo cleaning business. Now, the third thing that you need to know if you're thinking about starting a solo cleaning business or own a solo cleaning business, that is that you have to charge the right price. As a solo cleaner, it's really, really important that you charge your value you charge the right price to your clients and that you're not undercharging because a lot of times solo cleaners will undercharge they will give a price for their service and it's actually much lower than what they should be charging now it might not be as expensive as what a company like Mayans would charge but remember cleaning is a tough job it's very physical work it's tough on your body it takes time it takes detail it takes effort um, it takes a lot of attention and you have to know what you're doing and that's why people hire professionals right that's why they hire cleaning companies that's why they hire cleaners to come up because they know what they're doing they can do the job and do the job correctly in the right amount of time so you want to make sure that the rate or the amount of money you're making per hour that you're spending inside of the home of that client is worth it for you because no one wants to do the math at the end of the day after you've done all this tough work, all this hard work, cleaning houses, and then realize that you just charged $15 or $12 per hour to clean someone's home. That's not fair. As a cleaning professional, which is what you are if you're a solo cleaner, you're a cleaning professional, you have to be charging your worth. You can be charging $50, $60, $70 an hour to your clients. And you can even use that as a selling point to get more clients. And you can say, well, listen, I will, I'm going to charge you $60 per hour, but I'm going to be here more hours than a traditional cleaning company. So that's something that could sell right there. A lot of clients, a lot of people could look at that and be like, well, that's, you know, that's a good deal for me. And I would be willing to pay more for that type of service. So the recap, the three things that you should know before you start your cleaning service as a solo cleaner, or if you already have a solo cleaning business, the three things that you should know are, make sure that you are confident and dedicated to being that solo cleaner because you don't wanna change your mind later and lose all your clients because they're actually looking for solo cleaners. That's a big problem you were gonna cause for yourself. So make sure that the direction you're going into, you can even let your clients know that, hey, I'm starting off as a solo cleaner today, but I'm going to be hiring people later and then they're gonna be cleaning your house while I just do the managing. That's a whole different direction and you should let the clients know that as well. Number two, make sure you're looking for the right clientele. To make sure that your business is success successful as a solo cleaner, you wanna make sure that you're looking for your target audience, your target customer, the person that is actually looking for someone as a solo cleaner to be the ones cleaning their house and not a traditional cleaning company. And number three, charge the right price. Make sure, make, make sure, I hate seeing cleaning businesses not charge what they're valued at and what they deserve to be making. Uh, I hate seeing it, a lot of people charging way too little and listen, customers, aren't going to complain. They're gonna be perfectly fine paying people less than what they should be paying because that's on you, that's on the cleaning businesses that are charging less. So make sure that you're charging the right price and that you're charging what you're worth and the value that you are providing. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already subscribe to the channel, give this video a like, and if you have any questions or just wanna say hi, leave that in the comment section below and I will see you guys in the next one.